Hi everyone, welcome back to another beautiful tutorial. Today we are going to crochet this uh, baby girl's shorts. It is very easy to make. Let's get started. We need a tape measure. We will take hip measurements. Iron. You can use any yarn of your choice. I'm using a medium weight. A 3.5 mm hook, yarn needle, a pair of scissors. I'll start by chaining a hard red, which is equivalent to 25 inches. That is the hip measurement. So without twisting the chain, join together with a slip stitch. We are going to start with the waistband. So chain two. It will not count as a stitch. On the same stitch, make a double crochet. And double crochets throughout. We will meet at the end of this round. We are done with our first row. For row 2 to row 5, we are going to work with front post and back post double crochets and that will be our waist bud. So continue with front post and back post double crochets for a total of 5 rows. We are going to meet when I'm done. I'm done with my waistband. This is how it looks like. I've put two stitch markers on the sides. Though we are not going to make any increases, we are just going to make a chain space where I've put the stitch markers. We have 50 stitches on each side. So to start chain two, make a double crochet on the same stitch. And continue with double crochets on each and every stitch till we get to our first stitch marker. almost at our first stitch marker so chain one keep that stitch with the stitch marker and continue with double crochets this is how it will look like so do the same on the next each marker I'll see you done with our row this is how it looks like next chain two on the same stitch make a double crochet and continue with double crochets throughout till you get to our chain one space where you repeat the same Double crochet, chain one. You skip that. That space. And make a double crochet on the next stitch.
continue with this pattern i'm going to make a total of 14 rows remember no increase no decrease i'll see you when i'm done with my 14 rows You should have something like this. This is how mine looks like. And it is measuring around 7.5 inches so far. Now you need to count your stitches and put a stitch marker in the middle of the front side. On each side you should have 50 stitches. We are going to chain 10. And attach where we have our stitch marker slip stitch make a slip stitch now we have created the two holes From here we are going to work on the leg holes, so chain 2 and turn your work. We want to work on the right side of the short, so on the same chain 2 make a double crochet. And continue with double crochets throw out when you get to our chain 10 make sure you have 10 double crochets before joining the row with a slip stitch here we are done with our first row And on our chain 10, we have 10 double crochets. We are going to add two more rows of double crochets before we finish up with a row of single crochet. So continue, I'll see you when I'm done with my two rows. To finish up with this part, I'm going to make one more row of single crochet and it will be my final row. So chain one and make single crochets throughout. I am done and if you want your short to be a, a bit longer just add few more rows so what you are going to do next is work on the other part of the leg and we need a strap for the waist I'll do a total of about 150 for the waist strap I'll see you when I'm done And my short looks like this so far. I'm done with both sides. I 
I'm just going to attach the strap on the waist and I will use my yarn needle like this. Our starting point will be the middle part of our front side and we are going to attach it on the first row of our double crochet the very top uh, part of our waistband as you can see Now you can adjust your waist easily using the strap. Our shot is ready now so easy to make you have seen please give this video thumbs up subscribe if you have not watch out other videos in the channel i'll see you in our next tutorial bye bye